Now, in an age of technological marvels, it may not be a surprise that a young Congolese inventor is behind Africa's first homegrown tablet computer. It's the first of its kind invented in Africa by Verone Mankou. It's called the Way C, meaning starlight in a dialect of northern Congo. VOA's Paul Ndiho has more. It's part of the technological revolution that is sweeping across the continent, where almost every free hand and nearly every face is pinched in concentration, focused on a handheld device like a tablet, computer, or a smartphone. In many parts of the world, Apple iPad is often the innovation of choice, but in Africa, it's the innovation of necessity. And in Brazzaville, Congo, it's the way C, Africa's very own tablet, computer designed to bring cheaper technology and internet connectivity to masses. This is primarily a Congolese product. I had to buy it because it was made by a Congolese. Afterwards, I had some doubts. Would it work? But it proved to last. I was proved wrong, and I'm pleased I bought it. The way his designer and engineer Verona Manku says his goal was to create affordable computers and to bring internet access to millions of Africans. The device is designed in Congo but assembled in China. The idea was to come up with a computer tablet that wasn't expensive to allow as many people to have access to internet. Over the years, the computer has evolved and is no longer just accessible in the office. So our project also changed in 2007 and moved towards making a computer tablet. After years of research and technology, as well as financing from the project, then presented it and it has been on the market since January 2012. The way C was created by Manku's company VMK and went on sale for the first time this year in Congo at $300. VMK forecasts its domestic sales to reach over 100,000 tablets within one year before it launches the product to neighboring countries in West Africa. Manku says its technical features put it on the same level as other tablets on the market. Basically, it is an ideal companion that you can use anywhere. You can surf the internet and be in touch with relatives via applications like Facebook, share information on applications as Twitter. The way she is retailed in Congo by an Indian-based mobile phone company, Bad Airtel, and has sold over 2,000 units in Brazzaville alone, with more orders streaming in. From the customer's experience, meaning those who have bought the product and those who have used it, they have seen its efficiency, speed, and capacity. And the customers have also quickly realized that the product is on par with those on the international market. Africa is the fastest growing mobile market in the world and will be home to 738 million handsets by the end of this year. According to a survey by GSMA, which represents the interests of mobile operators worldwide, the survey says the rise of smartphones has also given millions of Africans internet access for the first time. I personally think that the product is reliable because if the product was not reliable, we would not have put it on the market. If it was not reliable, a great partner like Airtel would not have wanted to attach its name on something that is not legit. Technology experts are dubbing Verona Manku as the next Steve Jobs of Africa and that he's among a growing class of technology developers. The popularity of his locally engineered product is even more enticing for the tech-savvy youth than internationally known brands as Africa's increasingly relies on homegrown innovations. Even iPad and other products were made with good quality but they were not made in seconds. Those behind the Congolese computer tablet started it bit by bit. So yes, I still think that it's a solid product. Over time, there will be more expertise and progress, and the product will have better quality. At only 26 years old, Verona Manku is wasting little time creating his next product. His company already is working on a Congolese smartphone that he expects to launch later this year. Electronic giants like Samsung are already aggressively courting African consumers with built-for-Africa smartphones.
that highlight energy saving electrical features and are built to withstand high temperatures and the erratic power supply. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.